Hi everyone, welcome along to today's review. Today we're going to be looking at this item here. It's a set of three smoke and combined carbon monoxide detectors. This particular one is made by Xsense. Now, what's the main problem with the smoke detectors we have at the moment? They're all good, aren't they? But you've usually got a PP9 battery in them and they're on the ceiling somewhere. And I don't know about you, but there always seems to be one with a battery going. And you get that annoying beep, beep, beep to tell you that the battery is nearly gone. So you get up about 2 o'clock in the morning, which is when they're normally making the beep, beep, beep. <laughs> you struggle up, get a chair, you flick the, the lid down on the thing and disconnect the battery. Let's stop that, hasn't it? And usually that's where they remain for quite some time, until maybe you do remember to put a battery back in them. <laughs> Very dangerous really, but I have known a lot of people that do it, and uh, you see it everywhere. There's a smoke alarm door hanging down with no battery in it, where it's been removed, forgotten to put one back. Well, this kind of takes care of that in a way, because it's got a 10 year battery life. There are lithium batteries in here. Uh, they're sealed, so obviously at the end of the 10 years you just throw them away. But 10 years life, I think it's pretty good. There is a little monitor on the front I'll show you, uh, to show you battery life and the status of the CO2 in the atmosphere. And CO2 is one that's really important, isn't it? Here we have them out of the box. I say you do have a test and silence on the front there. And that little screen that I was telling you about on there to take readings. And a little manual here and the fixing kit. For any of you interested in the technical side of things, there we have it there. If you'd like to just still the video and have a read. Here's another little very important read about the CO alarm levels. They're pretty good and it shows you the rate in there they're going to go at the alarm and also what the effect is on adults here parts per million an interesting read i think you'll find now i'm not going to go through all the different modes but what i will do is just take a still picture for you and you can read these at your leisure before we move on to looking at the actual alarm and fitting it up to the ceiling As I showed you earlier, here are the fittings, so I'm going to screw these up now where I want them and then we'll give them a test out. So I'm now going to pair these up. It's not too bad a job, so I'm not going to go through all the ring roll of it, but basically you do two and link them wirelessly and then you add one at a time. And you can actually add up to 24 of these. That's <laughs> quite incredible, isn't it? Cover a mansion, I would think. <laughs> anyway, I'll get these paired up. And the first one is up here in my hall, just up outside the bedroom door. The second one is up here in placement in the back living room. The third one is down in my garage. I do have petrol cans down here to fill the old scooters up with, so I do need to make sure I've got one down here, which I never had. There she is, my little beauty. That one's certainly worth having a fire alarm for, isn't it? But this one, well, maybe not. <laughs> but I will have to be careful not to start them up in the garage now, otherwise the CO2 alarm will probably fire off. <laughs> there, there's a picture of it there on Amazon. You can see the blue LED read out there of the real-time CO2 levels in the room. I'll just take you through the different pictures there, which you can see. Okay, there's that one we just had, and the readout in the room. And how many are in that house? <laughs> there you are then. Obviously I'm impressed with them, I like them. Safety is a key feature in any home, anywhere, so safety is paramount. I think it's a great idea, especially the CO2 detector in there with the fire alarm and the fact that you can space them around by as many units as you want and have your rooms covered, especially ones that are a long way away from where you might be, a children's room for instance upstairs or whatever. 
great uses then. Only time will tell how they get on. Uh, I will keep you informed on them, how they perform, whether I get any false alarms or things like that. Because the test with these things is time, isn't it? How they get on, say, a year later. So if I haven't come back with a report in a year's time, do remind me to redo the video and I will let you know. <laughs> okay, that's about it then. All my stuff, your usual place, you know where to go. Derek from 33. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.